Control of pest and disease of pomegranate is difficult and costly after infection. Hence, prevention is the better option. Do not go for pomegranate in deep clay soil with poor drainage. Confirm that the layer plant used for fresh planting is free from diseases, insects and nematodes. Life fence around the garden by growing casuarina, silver oak, sesbania, etc. in 2-3 to three lines is useful. Few farmers put coconut leaves like this. It blocks pathogens and insects flowing with the wind to some extent. Some farmers have experienced less disease incidence by intercropping papaya or mango with pomegranate. Remove and destroy leaves, stems, fruits and plants infested with pests and diseases without any mercy and negligence. Destroy it by burning outside the garden. Keep the pomegranate garden free from weeds. Do not go for high density planting, lesser to 10 into 15 feet. Do not put the plants for cropping in the rainy season in higher rainfall areas. Supply sufficient quantity of rich organic manures and balanced fertilizers to build disease resistance in the plants. Deficiency of micronutrients makes the plants susceptible for the diseases. Correct any such deficiencies by foliar sprays of required nutrients. Do not put all solid fertilizers together into the mixing barrel of the fertigation unit. Dissolve individual fertilizers separately and then pour it into the barrel. Avoid overwatering and irregular irrigation. Take up proper training and pruning of the plant so that stems, leaves and fruits inside the plant canopy get sufficient light and ventilation. Apply all possible organic and cultural methods of pest and disease control. Use chemicals whenever it is inevitable. Use suitable adhesives and surfactants to the spray solution to make it to spread and stick on the plant. Motorized sprayers are better for spraying. Take up spraying only in the cool hours of morning and evening. Do not spray anything under hot sun. Spray all chemicals separately. Do not mix all of them except the recommended ones. Excess use of bactericides or antibiotics weakens the plant. Hence, use them only against its necessity and at recommended rate. Use fertilizers against soil testing and testing of eighth pair of leaves. Birds damage the ripening fruits. This farmer tied these colored shining ribbons to threaten the birds. These ribbons produce a typical sound with the wind. In this garden, the birds are chased away by beating this drum five to six times a day. Cracking of matured fruit is another major problem in some cases. Sudden variation in the soil moisture level, deficiency of boron and calcium due to excess nitrogen, improper usage of hormones, etc. are the reasons for fruit cracking. Healthy fruits crack suddenly, leading to crop loss up to 50%. Maintain uniform soil moisture level by drip irrigation. Give correct doses of fertilizers. If the problem of fruit cracking is severe, Spray 10 grams of calcium chloride or 20 grams of calcium ammonium nitrate in 1 litre of water. Again, spray 1 gram of boron in 1 litre of water. Pomegranate fruit fetches good price if it has attractive colour. Adequate amount of potash with congenial climate will develop proper colour naturally. If the colour development is not to the expectation, the farmer has to take sprays. Put 5 grams of 05234 fertilizer or 5 grams of 13045 fertilizer in 1 litre of water and spray it twice. In addition, spray 5 grams of 0050 or 13045 fertilizer in 1 litre of water at fruit ripening stage 
to enhance color development.